Good afternoon, RPG Limit Break, and welcome to the final day of week five of the 2023 Dragon Warrior Randomizer Winter League. Today, we are going to shore up who makes the playoffs, who may make the play-ins, and this is a big race towards that with Group 3 action featuring Ziggy, Edge, Ryguy3745, and Big Double Underscore Slamu. Hey, everybody, I'm DK9146. Alongside me in the booth today is going to be Juif. How are you feeling today? I am feeling ecstatic. I hope you are doing the same, DK9146. We are going to have a wonderful race, race with wonderful players. They're all very good. They have a very uh, <laughs> envious amount of points. Uh, I'm very jealous of them, and uh, they all can make it to the playoffs. Yeah, absolutely. We have currently we got Ziggy and Edge at least semi qualified, which if they finish fourth would force them into a play in race. But if they get third or above, they are automatically into the brackets. Meanwhile, Rai Guy and Big Slamu need to at least finish third to put, to guarantee a play in race. Second or first will guarantee them into the playoffs track. And we're already getting started. Let's see what uh, Lorik has for us in his uh, in his personal room today. We have uh, two herbs, so uh, <laughs> Lorik likes to heal himself up uh, from time to time, and uh, of course, there's a key so we can get out. Yeah, healing. That's that's what he's doing with those herbs. Yeah, so we got the keys. Um, they're going to get out here, and uh, we might see some stats here soon, hopefully, and uh, see how kind of a mess they're in. But there's a cave right away, and it's the jerk. Yep, so that's something we won't be uh, looking for uh, for a long time now. Well, hopefully, <laughs> if we want a, a nice race, it'll have to last at least a little while. So, uh, uh, Ziggy finding a red slime, that's a great enemy to find uh, starting the game. Yeah, well, right guy finding a wizard, um, definitely not the enemy you want to see. And that was pretty close to start, so they're right near a borderline. Uh, strength must be decent enough, because I see Edge uh, tickling this magician up here. Um, looks like he's trying to win the War of Attrition, and is getting close. Yeah, even with the uh, one uh, hit point hits, uh, you have two herbs, so you can manage to defeat at least one of them. Oh, and there we go. So yeah, 24 power on this level up. My goodness, they started with 12, immediately jumps to 36 strength at level two. Plus they still got that heal, so very, very nice. Yeah, so uh, we're gonna, <laughs> maybe we're gonna see some zone two enemies and uh, Edge already fighting a Drakima with uh, great success. Yeah, we're gonna at least see these early levels go by pretty quickly here. I'm um, gonna pick up no strength on this one, which is not surprising, but was one, nine, and 10 on the other with no spells. So this is looking good, but so far we have uh, nothing we're really looking for, except of course uh, the Rainbow Drop uh, Trading Cave. Uh, let us remind our viewers that we have uh, some interesting flags this week, including uh, Treasure Guards. So uh, even if we were to look around and find Cole, uh, we can't really hope it has the sword. Well, not right now anyway, because we can't defeat what's on it. Yeah, we're making it a little more difficult, or at least trying. The game's trying to help them out with the stat growth. But uh, yeah, we're hiding all the key items underneath either a spike check or underneath a treasure guard. So they're going to have to be able to battle some kind of early mid-game to late mid-game enemy to be able to pick up any of our items, including the heart stones token, armor, and sword. And Edge just got one of the most useful spells with these flags. He's got Radiant, uh, so we can see where those uh, pesky little chests are hidden in those pesky little rotated dungeons. Absolutely, yeah, Radiant. Oh, no. Very <laughs> beneficial. Very, very beneficial. Excuse me, I'm totally wrong. Those dungeons are rotated, but the stairs are, I guess. Correct, yeah. Cave, caves and uh, dungeons will be their normal their normal layout, but the stairs within them will take us pretty much anywhere. Um, and we saw uh, one of the runners go back in and pick up some more healing inside off that, or more MP off that dude. And when he did, we noticed that while this treasure only has one chest, the right side has two more. Yep, that is one uh, other flag this week has to offer. Uh, the chests are in random locations, so we can find more chests in towns where there weren't before, and we can find fewer chests in places where there were before. Exactly, and question in chat. Yeah, on death, the only bit, uh, the only um, negative on a death is you lose half your gold. King Lork, uh, he, he's willing to revive you, but he's going to take 50% off the top.
So is it uh, canon that uh, it's the king that revives us? I mean, it's 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 a great power for someone who hoards uh, herbs in his in his room. <laughs> exactly. Uh, we got a uh, right guy up here in the freebie cave finds a loose key and a fairy water. Oh, that is that is great. I mean, uh, the strength is slowly getting to a point where you might be able to take some uh, some treasure guard enemies, like the maybe the rogue scorpion eventually. So, uh, if you don't find uh, Rimmelar right away, you might uh, want to kickstart your your uh, your uh, your race with these uh, these keys and whatever you find in the treasury. Exactly, and we saw right guy start to walk away. Must have chat open after Tilo posted. Oh, that's grindable. Immediately turns around, goes back, and picks up a second key. Yep, it's much faster to uh, go back into that cave a couple of times than to walk around Rimmeldar if you even find it. Taking on uh, this wraith uh, with the uh, fairy water and, and physicals here, and it's going to be successful. He's going to grab level six here. Experience points are coming up along quite nicely. We're already almost at 200 for Ragai, and uh, pretty much everyone is at least close to 100. So uh, really nice, really nice XP uh, building up so far. Yeah, that was nice. The level itself, not as much. Only two strength and then ones for each of the other categories. Uh, oh, Rogue Scorpion fine. Puts him to sleep and smashes him back to Tantagel. So much for me seeing the Rogue Scorpion might be a fun treasure guard to run into. <laughs> Well, we do have uh -huh. stop spell. Yeah, fair. We do have stop spell. Uh, he is going to go ahead and utilize one his one key on checking this one chest in here. Does not have a treasure guard, and it is gold, so he can go top off his keys now. And maybe check out uh, that ch other chest or those other chests uh, in the right uh, right part of Tentagel. Exactly. Meanwhile, we do have Edge into the, the grave here. I uh, didn't see where he got into it. Is trying to make his way to where the vanilla checks are, but the Zack Knight is not leaving him alone. Well, yes, he is, but uh, barely. Ooh, could that be a treasure guard? Yeah, he's still um, still not doing much damage here, and uh, only one heal in the tank. Probably not in a position to be able to get this without a crit. Um, yeah, hit got hit for 23 there. And speaking of uh, not getting through that treasure guard, uh, Raigai finding the wizard on the western mo easternmost uh, chest in Tantagel. So uh, he's getting away and uh, trying something else. Yeah, Wizard, one of the hardest enemies, especially because it has hurt and hurt more resistance. So you're going to have to find a way to be able to sustain and physical and finds Mountain in the basement. In uh, other flag sets, you're kind of happy to find Mountain Cave because it has uh, five relatively uh, easy chests to get. But uh, in this very uh, specific flag set with uh, the, the stair shuffle, uh, Mountain might have nothing. It just might be a huge waste of time. Yeah, huge waste of time and be a huge, um, you know, just time sink in general from the silly stair locations that could take you. Um, so we have a treasure guard on the west side of Grave, uh, confirmed by Slamu. He ran away from that werewolf, got pushed back. So we know where two items are now. We have one on Tantagel. We have one in here. Still three items left to find. Well, there was the, the Wyvern Edge found, uh, but uh, it's not a 100% uh, confirmed uh, treasure guard, I think. I think that kind of confirms it. We just got uh, Slimu up there, got the exact same counter, but gets the crit and is going to be the first runner to find something to note with the token. It is indeed something to note. Not quite what you were hoping for, but uh, you, you wanted it eventually, so might as well get it now. Yeah, it would have been a little nicer if that was the sword. I'm sure Susie saw Erdrix. Uh, he was secretly hoping for the sword, but, um, you know, probably just assuming we're going to get this token because that's how this game does. What about you, chat? Are you hoping for the sword or more Erdrix teasing for us? <laughs> I think we know what chat... I think we know what chat's wanting and they're they're wanting pain and suffering um the the crazy thing is we already know where three key items are now 
We got three of our five items and we have none of our search spots in play yet. We don't know anything about the search spots. So we could realistically, um, at least from outside of Sherlock's perspective, not have to really do much diving as Lemu's going to get his key. Yeah, that could make for a quick seed, uh, assuming we can uh, defeat those guards uh, kind of early and or get heal more kind of early because we do need that spell, whatever whatever, whatever we do find in that seed. Oh, right guy finds the first sighting of the fun place here. We do have easy Sherlock on, which does in theory, make it slightly easier to run from some of those top tier Sherlock enemies, but still early in the seed, not enough stats to be able to do it safely. Yeah, I think I'm gonna suggest uh, <laughs> McGrew or whoever else uh, might feel like it to put quotes around that easy <laughs> for easy Sherlock. So far, uh, it's still Sherlock, you know? Absolutely, yeah. A red, a red dragon's still a, a, a beast at the end of the day. We're going to see Ryguy come across the grave here as well. We'll see if he's successful in uh, locating the two treasure guards as well as possibly getting through the wyvern. And Wolf got a Wumbo. Yeah, wolves, wolves are definitely the nasty enemy early on here. Slamu, or uh, Ryguy unfortunately runs into a werewolf inside of the grave and is sent back and couldn't get away there. 40 agility, kind of a coin flip. Yeah, from all those stats, the strength is okay, I mean, for, for level 6, of course, but the rest, uh, 32 HP at level 6 is not quite something you like to see. No, definitely not. And now Slamu's getting his news about a, another treasure guard, so he's got to be feeling pretty good knowing where three items at least so far are located. So what would you do at this point? Uh, would you try and explore or maybe grind? I, I think I would feel like grinding uh, with those metal scorpions. Uh, and you know you can't defeat the guards you've seen yet. So I think you can't hope for much else than more levels and, sas and stats. Yeah, the only thing exploration will give them at this point is either a lucky treasure guard on top of, a, of the sword, which will greatly increase offense, or maybe get some gold out action to a town to buy a weapon. Otherwise, they need to grind. We know for sure we have a wizard in here, which you're not going to be able to hurt more, even if we get to hurt more. So you're just going to need stats in order to kill that. And then that werewolf, obviously, if we get hurt more, we'll make it a little more in play. But if you get the stats to kill the wizard, you've got the stats to kill the werewolf. Yep, and looking at, uh, at our runner's uh, inventory and gear, uh, we not we have not found a town. So any town really, uh, except maybe Hogsnest, would be a, a good find. Uh, even with just a small amount of money, you could buy a hand axe or a copper sword, and it could really change really the the rest of the your exploring. No, absolutely agree. The the more offensive firepower you can have, especially with that delayed hurt more, uh, the better. Uh, we're just not really finding much around here. We do see Slamu checking out the mountain cave now. Uh, no chest on the first floor, can be up the two. Does go in the bottom right, decides, now nah, we're not going in there, but uh, finds out the accent has hurt more and is not able to check the other stairs. I love that Rai guy. Stop spell the wolf, but uh, no, DL2 is not a spell. Yeah, he blocked the sleep, but yeah, he the we didn't even find out about the sleep until after many of them had already been DL2, so it really, really likes its DL2. But speaking of weaponry, we got Ziggy inside Cantlin picking up a small shield and a copper sword. Yep, that's a good uh, 10 plus uh, attack points, attack power for uh, Ziggy. So uh, with a bunch of herbs, uh, he's going to take a couple enemies that are worth... A uh, good amount of experience, and I'm pretty sure we're going to see level 8 in uh, in just a couple of minutes. Yeah, absolutely agree. So he finds Cantlin, finds a couple more locations, another town and cave just northwest of it. Meanwhile, Edge comes across the freebie cave, is now recycling, getting his fairy waters and keys here, leaving Ziggy as the last runner on stream to not have keys as of yet. Ziggy's feeling pretty adventurous, uh, fighting that wolf, and he defeats it. Oh, that's huge. 40 experience points is great. And it's Oxness with a chest uh, behind the, the closed door, uh, but I don't think Ziggy has the keys yet. Exactly. No keys. Um, comes out, tries to check this cave, but the Red Dragon says nope. So he is back at start. We'll see if he can find it. It's just that that freebie cave is just southwest of Sherlock, which is just across the bridge. He just has not gone that direction yet. 
so many directions to go to, but uh, we we can't go to them all at once, so we have to choose, and sometimes the game uh, doesn't agree with your choice. Absolutely. So we got Slamu here in Cantlin with keys in hand. We'll see if he opts to go check out the uh, treasure or the uh, old man here in a moment. We do need to get a check on that chest in the bottom left as well. We see a full gold grind option available since we have gold back in the, in the treasury. All three mega items are in this bottom right location. It's just in he would have to get it set up. Yeah, I believe there was a gold chest in Tantagil, so uh, with all this that equipment uh, available here, uh, I think a gold grind is a very, very tempting option right now. Of course, you have to find a, a cave and enough chests to make it work, but it's, uh, it's very tempting. Absolutely, and we're going to get this coordinates here in a moment. Slamu walking around says, old man, come over here, says, never mind, I'm going to check. And we got 54 south, 9 to the east. Meanwhile, Edge is uh, is is dancing with the Wyvern. Uh, Wyvern is attacking. Edge is healing, and uh, uh, they both have a lot of fun. Absolutely, Edge did have some fairy waters on him. Is successful. Going to be our second runner to get the token. All right, so we got Ziggy back on that same grind just north of start. Rye Guy pushing exploration very, very heavy. He's been running into multiple uh, tough enemies. Is seeing a town finally on this screen. We'll see if this town pays off for him if he can get over there. Yeah, uh, we do know where uh, Kendlin is, but uh, other than that, I'm not sure where uh, which town I would rather find. But it's not Hawksness for sure. <laughs> well, uh, Ragai right is going in, so uh, he does have keys. I'm guessing he's gonna check uh, the chest right there. Yeah, kind of interesting. We saw when Ziggy came across that, he came from Cantlin from the south and then went up into Hawks into the west to where that cave was. Ragai approached this from the top, so it looks like it's approachable from multiple directions. No encounter but get some gold for his trouble and the slime that i guess could have made a, a great treasure guard but uh nope not this time uh we're fighting a warlock and hopefully right guy goes south and sees kenton next exactly so meanwhile ziggy did get the next level level eight came with a ton of agility i didn't get to see the rest of those stats but i did see that 21 agility there we go thanks schmike and chat Some say agility is just a number, but at this point in the game, it's kind of more than that. <laughs> it provides, uh, of course, a good chance of uh, running away from enemies and uh, some defense as well. So Raigai unfortunately runs into a Star Wyvern, is unable to get out in, of that battle, and will uh, take a death before he gets to his other locations here. On Edge's stream as well, though, we did see... Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, Slamu mid-rolling us again. Um, <laughs> just got me good. Um, <laughs> but uh, we did see that Edge was engraved. Did not go to the left, though. Is not aware that werewolf uh, spike tile is over there. Is about to find out about the wizard, though. That was a very quick finding out uh, about the wizard. <laughs> the wizard said hi and bye. Yeah, wizard's done that to a few people now, so... Uh, very nice. Uh, Edge is probably going to check downstairs, see that it's the mountain at this point, since we definitely cannot take on that wizard. Meanwhile, Ziggy has now come across the grave. Unsure if he went west or not first, but he is going to find his wyvern here. We'll see if he can take him down and get this token. And Twenser Schmeich, uh, no, sorry, Twenser, Brian Williams in chat. Uh, the rogue scorpions do have uh, at least sleep, uh, but we have stop spell, so that alone is not too bad. All right, so Edge checking the stair down there as well. Nope's out of it. This top zone of Mountain, which is also the same zone as Swamp, is fairly nasty, though. There are some there are some rough enemies in here. The Wolf Ward kind of possibly appealing, but the rest the rest will beat you pretty bad. Yep, and uh, the first uh, area he noped out of was, uh, I believe, uh, the second to last floor of Charlotte. So that's dangerous, and there's no chest there, so you might as well go and check uh, something else. 
Yeah, and now he's trying to figure out where he's at, but he's on the path to where Grave Chest 4 is located, and there can be another chest just one tile south of him here if he was to walk around. Um, and it looks like he's going to. No chest there, but he... No, he's going to nope out versus walking all the way around to see if Grave 4... No, maybe... Okay, he changes his mind. He's going to go check the north northwest corner. And I was so preoccupied with Edge that I didn't see uh, Ziggy and... Uh, no, never mind. Rai Guy finding Cole, and Cole has... Oh, the death necklace and the very slow gold grind. Yeah, the slow gold grind, um, underrated in my opinion. Um, sometimes if you find like even just like a broadsword and a half plate and a large shield, it is it can very well be worth the grind to just go ahead and do this real fast. Yeah, absolutely. And the sh I believe the shop right there had uh, the silver shield, which is probably way too long to grind for with this slow grind. But there was uh, a large shield, uh, a hand axe, and the magic armor, I believe. Well, let's see what he's going for. He is He's definitely uh, approaching 2,000 here, so he's got something in mind. Meanwhile, we're going to see level 9 from Ziggy here momentarily. Uh, he's at 931 experience, and uh, 975 is what is necessary. We do have a chainmail and a large shield uh, from Ragai with this slow grind, and uh, I think that's going to be enough for today. So not a bad choice. I mean, there is likely a better gold grind available at some point, and uh, this equipment will allow you to uh, to defeat some of those uh, mid tier enemies uh, easily. Absolutely agree. And we're into this chest over here on the left side, and it's just an herb. And in the meantime, Ziggy got level 9 with, again, some great agility. Level 9 ha uh, has 76 agility in total, I, I believe, which is uh, uh, pretty good, I think. It's going to be able to run more often from those uh, un uh, undesirable, undesirable enemies. Yeah, absolutely agree. I think it's a smart play from Ziggy's perspective. He's trying to he's trying to give himself survivability on the overworld here. If uh, he would go to this cave, he will get a key. We'll see if he goes there. Look at Breconary trying to be relevant with two chests in here. First chest on the left has the fairy water, and our chest on the right has an encounter with the wyvern. So we have a fourth key item here. Yeah, and with that equipment right I just bought, I think the yeah the wyvern is gone. It's over. Oh wow, that's great. Our first runner with Erdrix sword or even uh, any piece of Erdrix gear, and this is gonna make uh, any kind of grind so much faster. Absolutely. Raigai pressed all this exploration and it is paying off in dividends now. It's got the best piece of equipment you can get from an offensive perspective in this game and we'll be able to slaughter through some things. He'll be able to get into that werewolf and or wizard battle much sooner here, um, coupled with his defense at this point. Yeah, just uh, just with heal more and or more HP, and he's gonna be he's gonna be fine. Whereas other players were gonna need uh, a lot more HP <laughs> or uh, more HP and heal more to get through it. Now we know Slamu can't be too far away because Rai Guy stopped in Cole on the way to locating Breconary. Um, Slamu doing the same slow grind on some stuff there to pick up some equipment is going to go pick up a little bit more gold. Oh no, he's going around to check this chest, so we'll see what happens here on his screen. And right guy is back in grave one to fight the werewolf. Let's see if he gets... Nope, he doesn't even try it. Yeah, uh, a sleep spell maybe uh, be beneficial. Obviously, more stats, period, would be beneficial. Our HP is still kind of lagging. I believe Ziggy was up to 50 HP at level 9, so a little more HP probably at this point. Yeah, what's that sleep resistance on the, the werewolves? Uh, let me take a look. I'll cheat. Um, I've got my sheet right here. Oh, there we go. 7 out of 16. Thanks, Schmike.
<laughs> right guy um goes up here finds the wyvern with the token just one shots it with the Erdrick sword picks up his token no problem Ziggy gonna try his luck at the wizard and uh, not gonna try his luck at the wizard after all. I think that's a good decision. Yeah, that, got, that guard walked over the chest there. He's just gonna let the guard take care of uh, business. He'll come back and visit after a while. You know what? This might sound crazy, but I think I would have tried. I would have tried uh, fighting just because uh, in the off chance that you get a crit, you might get the guy. And if you die, well, it's basically almost not a, a time loss because you're you're so close anyway. Uh, question in the chat, did right guy get the West Chest? No, he went over there, saw the werewolf, and ran. So he knows of its existence, uh, but did not try to take it on yet. Now, let's see if Ziggy goes... Nope, he doesn't go <laughs> any further uh, in that uh, mountain cave uh, southern stairs. Uh, let's see if uh, if he gets further in the, the rest of the cave. Yeah, it looked like he was about to go back up, decides to at least check that chest, does not want to walk all the way around, so he's going to continue. I don't think anybody's been over on the east side here yet. There's no chest for sure. Um, Ryguy goes into the wizard, gets ambushed, and is immediately running. Metal Slime also immediately running from Edge, which is a shame because uh, at this point in the, game, in the game, it's a great, great, great uh, experience boost. Yeah, absolutely. 255 guaranteed going forward for all the runners if they take down a medal. Meanwhile, Ragai does uh, heal up, goes back into this fight. Needed to get a couple low rolls from the wizard. The second roll, a little too high, takes him out. And Slamu gets his medal slime and gets level 10 as well with uh, reasonable stats, but nothing uh, to write home about. Right guy going to immediately give this thing a shot again. Did roll pretty well against it, and it um, you know, it just ha happened to hit on the higher end of its uh, of its damage range. Does get the opener here, and uh, does a twenty four. So in decent position here. Forty three, and that's going to do it. So let's see what was below this after the level. The musical instrument. Well, that's good. We needed it, of course, and uh, I don't think we've seen uh, the harp trade in cave uh, yet. So uh, when he does find it, he will be uh, ready to uh, to trade it in. Yeah, absolutely. So now we're down to just that werewolf, um, either blocking the stones or the Erdrich's armor. And where is the other one of those items after that? Well, uh, we still haven't checked the cords. Uh, we still haven't checked. Uh, Hawksness, so that's uh, two uh, great options right now. But it might be some something else because we don't have the death necklace. Oh yes, never mind. We do have the death necklace. It wasn't coal, so uh, we know the flute uh, is somewhere <laughs> now. Uh, if there are cords and an item in Hawksness, then they have. To correct me if I'm wrong, but they they have to be the flute and the armor. No, absolutely. Yeah, if all if all search plots are in play. Uh, we will definitely have everything outside of Sherlock 100% guaranteed. Um, we know for sure that below the werewolf is either Harper or Armor, but the cords could be any of those three items. So Ziggy um, opts out of the cave after uh, going through and checking some locations here. Um, did get a little bit further than the other runners here. Meanwhile, we've got uh, Ragai going through the through the Grave Four chest location here. Uh, is going to find the disappointing news of no chest there. Doesn't even bother to check the stair on the other end. Just sits outside. It is a long walk to the the next the next stairs and the resources aren't great right now with 5 MP so I don't, I don't think we can blame him for getting out of there. Nah, it makes sense for sure. We did see Slamu try and take on that werewolf. Um, came up a little short here. Probably gonna work on getting one or two more levels here and we'll most likely see him give that a shot again. 
Ziggy found a Druin Lord, with a, with his, which is a great enemy right now with its uh, 58 experience points, and finds Rimmeldar with a uh, possible three chests here, two behind locked doors and one completely free. But unfortunately, the locked door ones have come up empty, so we got one more free potential back here to the left, uh, but still more pieces of the puzzle starting to come together here for the runners. Oh, and there, there's a treasure guard. It's, just, it's an NPC. Ah, she was blocking the torch. She can have the torch. And unfortunately, it's one uh, treasure guard you can't fight and uh, not meet again in this seed. Meanwhile, Slamu uh, proved me wrong, went right back to that werewolf, is successful taking it down, picks up the Stones of Sunlight. So now we're 50-50 cords being armor or flute. I think it's time to uh, do some counting. Yeah, I think that's that's most likely the next play for him. I mean, you got a 50-50 ch chance at the armor. You still have to find the heart turn in. Um, we know where the jerk is. He's right next door and Sherlock's right next door. So you could potentially lock up the last pieces of the puzzle almost immediately outside of the path downstairs in Sherlock once we get to that point. Yep, and if you do find the armor, then uh, you grind. Uh, have we seen a great uh, grind spot so far, or even a spike tile? Uh, no, we have not checked uh, spike tiles as of yet, to my knowledge. I know we did see Hawksness, uh, but I'm not sure that either of them went over and checked yet. Yeah, every runner that's been to Hawksness did not have uh, hurt more, of course, or heal more, or uh, stats uh, good enough to fight whatever might be there. So maybe then, uh, when we get there, it will be uh, interesting to see what's there. And of course, there's a spike tile in the Swamp, but we haven't seen Swamp. Exactly. So meanwhile, we got Raigai, or Slamu, stutter stepping south here, trying to figure out if he can get to these cords while Raigai is getting his coordinates. Uh, we'll see uh, how either of these two do here in a moment. Finding magic wyverns in the process, that is great. Uh, Big Slam, who is almost at uh, the next level, which is at uh, 2150, I believe. Well, we'll see what this armor knight has to say about it. Um, for sure, yes. Slamu has taken this sword and really drove it into a nice experience game here, taking out several enemies that are, you know, higher end and has built that up. He has the knowledge uh, lead as well right now, so in a really good position for him. Looks like his Count South has taken him to this river, which there's a bridge across. It's like, so, so far had no path, but he has figured out the path. Looks like he should go back west figure out what was there. Meanwhile, he is coming across the cave as well. Yep, at this point, let's see uh, first what the cave is at least, and it's from south. All right, so that's good knowledge for him then. Um, so he's coming over here. He's going to pick his count back up. We'll see how much further he's got to go. Uh, can't be too much further. He's walked a, quite a bit of ways. Wraith Knights have stop spell, so this is a great enemy right now with the Ur Urdric Sword. You can defeat it in two hits, as uh, Slamu just uh, showed us. Yeah, I was starting to wonder if that was going to be the Treasure Guard. That Gold Man also could have been. He does find the Tablet Cave, makes note of it, is going to opt out. He's got to be getting extremely close here. And we're gonna comb the desert a bit. <laughs> the, hopefully, uh, it doesn't take too long. Uh, Slamu knows uh, the search spot is somewhere around there. Uh, desert makes it uh, harder uh, to search because, of course, you're gonna find more enemies. But uh, he's got good resources right now, so I think he can. Uh, uh, I think he can afford uh, looking for it a bit. Exactly. So, and we know if he finds something, doesn't get an encounter, it's going to be our flute. Um, if he runs into an encounter, kills it, and then finds it, that could very well be our armor. So we'll see what he does. He gets back in the tablet and decides to see at least where this goes. 
And there's the rest of the uh, basement of Grave. Yeah, absolutely. So this will just... He's going to make this long trip around and is just going to end up right back at the Grave. So yeah, either he is confident on his east-west coordinates, because we saw him, he checked once or twice east or west, but was in that one column. He's either very confident in his east-west coordinate count being correct, didn't get an encounter and just doesn't care about the golem, or could have been off and, and just overlooked what the spot is. We'll see if one of these other runners, as they get coordinates picked up, uh, decide to try and figure this out for us. Uh, well, Raiga is exactly in, was exactly in the same spot, and I believe he does have the coordinates, but I'm not sure. I don't think he has counted the coordinates so far. Yeah, I'm not sure if he was pitter-pattering there or not. I did kind of glance over, um, but didn't see any stutter steps, but we'll see what he does. Finds a town way down here at the very, very bottom of the world, and that's going to be... Oh, that's where Rim was hiding. Next enemy is gonna give uh, Slamus the level. Uh, if he gets uh, heal more or hurt more, he can uh, definitely uh, expand his exploration, or at least uh, the <laughs> how easy it's gonna be to explore. So Slamu continues to look in that north-south uh, line again, searches those other three spots. Uh, kind of surprised he didn't search the uh, cave spot. It could theoretically land on top of the cave as well, but it's getting level 11, 2, 1, 31 HP and 10 MP. I believe that qualifies as a good level. He's got a enemy here that could be our treasure guard. We'll see if he searches. If it is, it'll be our armor, and it is! Oh, that's amazing. So, he's just looking for uh, the harp trading cave, I believe? Yeah, harp trade-in, which is back at Garenham, I think, at this point. We've seen everything else. I believe you're correct. And then the Rainbow Drop Cave uh, trading is at home. Uh, no, it's not at home. It's close to home. Uh, and then he grinds and he's and he's done. So uh, maybe it's time now to look at what are those spike tile enemies. Yeah, we'll see. Um, he's got the HP now. He's up to 81 HP, 75 strength. MP's still a little light, but that high agility is awesome as well. I mean, we're in a really good position overall. He would like to probably have at least a heal more in play um, for a spike tile, but you could also sit there and baby heal a few times. Yeah, but uh, he's got 2,600 experience points. Uh, with the, the armor and sword, uh, the levels will start coming up really quickly, so it might as well maybe take the, the next level before trying. Yeah, he's got a decent enough zone here. As we see, he's already over halfway to level 12. He has a top-off town here in Rim, and he is right next to Swamp South, so he could theoretically check that here really quick. Ziggy is getting his coordinates. Uh, he doesn't have... Uh, well, he only has the token so far, so... Um, I'm not sure if he's going to go right away for the coordinates or find something else. He knows about some of the some of the uh, treasure guards exactly so he's he's doing some uh, some cleanup items here he's gonna get some stuff some knowledge we'll see if he can get caught up our top two runners here a little behind on the exploration knowledge uh, I mean right guy has the cords and just has to get it counted out and that will get him caught up to Slamu but Slamu with a very clear lead right now Having all of the items he is needing at this moment, um, just shy of knowing where to turn in this heart. Yep, and he's got uh, basically the double the experience of uh, most runners, so uh, he's in a really good position. Exactly, yeah, and as discussed, uh, the heart trade-in has to be in the basement of Garenham. We have located all other caves. So Beef asking a question, if coordinates are on a town and Treasure Guard is active, is the Treasure Guard basically guarding the whole town? It absolutely is, uh, was confirmed. Um, I even put a clip of it in uh, one of the chat rooms in Discord uh, after seeing it. It was guarding Key Town in that one. And another thing that's uh, that's awesome is when uh, there is a uh, random chest location flag on and there is a chest uh, at the very entry of the Tentagel uh, treasure room, then uh, the treasure guard might be guarding the whole room. 
Yeah, ab yeah, it's absolutely hilarious um, when that happens, by the way. And we've had that a couple times this week. Um, so it's been pretty fun. Meanwhile, we do have Ziggy picking up his harp. He's still got to find out a few locations here, but uh, it, it's slowly getting there. We'll see how Edge does as he presses along here. Kind of struggling to get a rhythm, but did get his harp as well. Honestly, um, Edge has the sword already, where Ziggy hasn't been west to find it yet. And the big slam who just showed us was the spike tallies in Hawk's Nest. It, uh, it is a stone man, so I think he's going to look for something else. Yeah, Stone Man not really um, smiled upon by many people looking for a grind. And the other one was a Blue Dragon, I believe. So, uh, not the greatest uh, spike tiles that, uh, you know, unfortunately. Yeah, and again, it does depend on the flags. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, or even last week, I can't remember, there was a, a flag set with uh, a consistent uh, enemy, uh, enemy rewards, and the Stone Man were... Uh, worth so much. It was basically the enemy you were looking for. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, it still wouldn't be bad here. Even if we had sleep, you could sleep it and um, with his strength get through it and, you know, nominal amount of swings. But we'll see where he opts to, to set up shore here. And level 12 for Big, for big Slamu gives us 5 power. 2 agility, 19 hit points, and 17 magic points. So, okay, the stats are getting there, but uh, we're still looking for some spells. Yeah, we're still only at 4 spells, uh, and haven't had a spell since, I think, what was it, like, level 5? It's been quite a large gap since our last spell came. Of course, we always like to have hurt more, but with the Stone Man and Blue uh, Dragon as spike tiles, it's... It doesn't matter as much as it was in other situations. Uh, you do run into some Axe Knights and Green Dragons from time to time, which would be way, way, way uh, uh, interesting to fight. But uh, so far, yeah. Agreed. So Ziggy, we did see, try to take on that werewolf down in the uh, grave to, to get what we know as the stones. Uh, wasn't successful. Um, Hasn't found the sword yet, so he needs to get he needs to get to Cole. He needs to get his sword. Um, or sorry, that was Death Necklace. He needs to get where was the sword at? It was in Breconary, that's right. Breconary with the ultimate equipment. We don't see that every day. Yeah, hashtag redeem Breck. So, uh, what would you do, DK, if you found a desert area with a, a good amount of uh, golems? Would you uh, go and look for the flute or just uh, come back when you have heal more or, you know, uh, never mind the golem and find something else? I mean, if there's a golem available and it's consistent, I probably would uh, go ahead and get it once I have heal more. I would not spend any time looking for the flute, though. Um, that flute could be anywhere. It could still be completely locked in the basement of Sharlock as well. So you might just be on a fool's errand where you could have been just grinding something that entire time. Yeah, that's right. We did find Hawksness and we know there's a stone man there, but nobody uh, defeated it and we haven't found Cursed. I, have we even seen one single Cursed Belt? That's a great question. I'm not sure that we have. Uh, we might hear in a moment if Ryguy checks some of these chests in the back, um, as he has come across Garenham and will be able to pick up his Staff of Rain here in a moment. <laughs> wow, that's a beautiful empty Garenham. Well, the cave was what we were looking for. I love it. That lady hates people so much she got rid of all the chests trying to keep people from coming back there, but unfortunately they forgot to make it visible from outside, so they still have to go back to look. But here we go, Staff of Rain for my guy. Ziki up here in his second attempt at this uh, werewolf is using some herbs, attempting to try and get it down, is very close. He's still got several herbs. He's trying to make it into safe attacks first which I don't blame him here. He's most likely hoping that this is the armor, to be quite honest, but we'll get rewarded with the stones if he's successful. And he is, and he gets his uh, third uh, quest item for uh, the rainbow drop. Uh, so he's going to be both happy and sad. Uh, disappointment is uh, sometimes a feeling that is that goes uh, <laughs> along with other feelings. 
Exactly. So th we're going to see a lot of dead blue dragons here from Slamu, it seems. Um, they do have what appears to probably be 25% hurt, um, which is always nice because that's a nice free turn for him. He does get a crit here. Uh, very nicely done there. But um, meanwhile, he did get 13. Didn't come with a lot. Does get the spell of repel. So once he does go out looking for Garenham and conversely the, the Staff of Rain Cave, he will be able to repel a lot of enemies while doing so. Yep, uh, he could even repel more if he had the silver shield, but at this point I don't think we're going to see any more gold grinding from anyone. Yeah, I absolutely agree um, at this point. It, it would be a little rough to even set up with the minimal amount of chest available. But we got Rygai doing a step count here, so it looks like he is going to make a play to try and find these coordinates. If he's successful, we'll be absolutely happy and rewarded with some armor. Edge getting his coordinates as well, so I think uh, by this point everyone has him, and everyone is able to get the armor. Yeah, all the pieces of the puzzle together, except for Edge. Edge never walked to the left in Grave, and never saw that werewolf on that on that uh, one chest. And I've kind of been trying to keep an eye out, and I haven't seen him go back that way once yet. It is not always tempting to go into caves uh, with this uh, stair shuffle flag, but uh, the particular case of uh, the first uh, the first floor of grave is interesting because there are so many chests available. It's almost always worth looking for them. Well, I get. I hope Ragai made a uh, at least a uh, marker here. He comes across these locations here. We know Cantlin's just past this part. Uh, but is uh, making a play towards the spike tile, which with his current level of knowledge, I can't say I blame him. He, he's got a, just as good of a chance of this being armor, potentially, if there's something here under as the coordinates. Although we do know coordinates exist, we do not know if something here exists. Uh, did I see wrong, or did Ragai try and open the, the, the key door in Hawksness and did not have keys anymore? I didn't quite pay attention to see if he did or not. He definitely killed an enemy there and was using some heals. Um, did try to take the Stone Man on without sleep. Almost got there. A lower HP Stone Man may have been successful. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Slamu got uh, a new level. I haven't seen all the stats. I missed the, the strength, uh, but there were two uh, new spells, but no more. The Moors are remaining elusive for sure. Um, if they, we haven't gotten them by 14, we're guaranteed to have them by level 16. So only two more levels at most. Uh, strength still, you know, hasn't really stepped up too much. He's at 81 strength right now. We don't have a Fighter's Reign in play at least yet. And I don't think anyone's going to be looking for it. So most likely uh, we'll just be that plus 40 with the, sir, the sword they had. So we got Ziggy about to be rewarded. I believe this is where Breck was. Oh no, this is Garenham. Good grief. So he's found Garenham. He is going to be able to do his trade-in. He's still got to find Breck. Meanwhile, down on Raigai's side, we do see that we do that see that see river that was just north of where the armor will be. He'll have to walk a little bit to the east to get down there. Uh, but he is in the ballpark. Yep, he's got the resources for it. He's... Probably gonna get his armor in just a couple of minutes. Meanwhile, uh, Ziggy uh, filled up on herbs, sees that Garenham uh, so far has nothing, uh, in for even bigger <laughs> bigger disappointment in just a second. Uh, he does have uh, the harp, so at least he's gonna be able to trade in uh, that item. Yeah, agreed. At least this isn't just a, a useless uh, excursion, you know, you get here and, and just know you don't need to go searching through a side cave, but... He does have to do this exchange, so he is going to get that piece of the puzzle. We know this armor is one step to the left of the of the cave that Raigai has just um, walked past, but I think he's trying to pick up his count. Or sorry, it's this cave that it's to the one step to the west.
uh, Slamu fighting those blue dragons is uh, building up quite the experience lead. He's got almost uh, the sum of the, <laughs> the experience points of uh, all three other runners. Uh, he, it's it's getting uh, really good for him. Uh, I don't. I think he, it's fair to say he's, he's in the driver's seat right now. Oh, 100%. 100% in the driver's seat. Um, but we still have one big thing in play. We've not really seen any of the split floor um, locations that can be in the stair shuffle. So uh, it's kind of leaning like we're going to have a pretty mega Sherlock dungeon here soon. Mega Sherlock is the best Sherlock. It's good, <laughs> it's good uh, for uh, a long, long, long uh, exploration uh, time. It's uh, good for great enemies, for... Uh, maybe a little bit of, of luck as well. Uh, some runners uh, who might be behind might uh, stumble into the, the last floor uh, more quickly than others. And it's, uh, I guess you could call it the great equalizer. Absolutely. Uh, meanwhile, we got Ziggy into coal, which means he's in a Breck near location. Rai Guy just started walking around, uh, killed a couple enemies that can be a tile, uh, but was unsuccessful in finding it and just starts walking away. So he must have lost his count, unfortunately. And nobody uh, went and rescued Gwelyn. Uh, I don't think we're gonna see a Gwelyn rescue either, but uh, have we seen the chest next to Gwelyn? I don't know that uh, Slamu ever walked back there, and he's the only one that's even in, taken on this um, blue dragon here. Meanwhile, Raigai's gonna cough off in Cantlin. Maybe he might feel that he's got the core drawn, or is just in need of a, a respite. And no, they. He, he must be confident that he wrote the chords down correctly. Um, I hope he doesn't think that there wasn't a treasure guard and thinks it's the flute as a result. Slamu gets 18 HP return and heal more from his uh, latest, le latest level, so he's got to be feeling pretty good right now. Yeah, I would say in, the, in, in light of the order of things he found, um, how things have gone for him, I would feel fairly decent if I was in his position for sure. Um, although I would always personally feel that at least one other runner has at least done as well as I have at this point. But Slamu, just in a giant commanding lead right now, doing a double take at those uh, core, um, stats, probably does need another level, but he still has to go find Garenham. He must uh, have a narrowed down area of this map that it could be located in. Uh, meanwhile, Ziggy finally found uh, the great, the awesome Breconary with the Erdrick Sword, so uh, he might not feel as great uh, because uh, I believe he's the last of our players to get the Erdrick Sword. Yeah, the last and the last by like 20 minutes. Everybody else has gotten there well in advance of Ziggy and has had that extra offensive firepower where Ziggy had a hand axe up until that point. So Raigai successfully takes down the Stone Man, gets the flute. So now Raigai has to know that those cords will be his Erdrick's armor. And we'll see what he opts to do after this death war. And uh, Slamu uh, went out of the Swamp Cave. I'm, I'm not sure if it was uh, on purpose or uh, a death warp or... Uh, if he wants to go back, or if he's going look, looking for Garenham. Yeah, it might not be a bad time, especially if you think you're within a level of go mode, um, to go ahead and get this last little bit of exploration. It felt like it was off in a, in a bunch of swamp. It was like along the west coast, if I had to guess. Um, when we saw it on the other screen, he was definitely going through a ton of swamp when we saw Garenham show up. Well, that's a ton of swamp, <laughs> but... Uh, not... I think it's right. I think it's just down below here. Always good times to find armor knights <laughs> in this game. Uh, even with his gigantic uh, HP uh, amount, Slam who almost died there uh, to the armor knight. Yeah, buddy, but here we go. He's going to get the last piece of the puzzle figured out. Meanwhile, Raigai is working through his coordinates again. He made another note at the river on the west over here. He's got to go east, get her back around, um, and is doing some double thinking here. Yeah, he's recounting. We'll see what happens. Slamu doing the rare 53-minute uh, uh, dragon scale uh, <laughs> purchase, but, uh, you know, that shows how much he doesn't tend to uh, open any more chests in the game. 
Yeah, that's fair. He, he's got the Death Necklace, so he could Death Necklace uh, put himself at 142 attack power right now with nine heal mores. Um, it is winnable. The problem being, we don't know the path downstairs, and it is extremely likely that we're going to have a giant Sherlock. So uh, this is not over yet, folks. Uh, even though Slamu has definitely got a giant lead, uh, Sherlock could definitely bring that lead down a little bit. Guy is getting very, very close to that uh, that uh, search spot with the armor, and uh, he's got to be. Uh, he really wants it now. Yeah, he's walking all over here. He knows he's got to get a, a treasure guard. Every time he's killed something down here, he has searched, um, unless he had down here earlier. So he wouldn't have inadvertently killed the treasure guard and not realized it. Uh, he's just got to walk south two more and west one, and he will find it. And that zone really has uh, plenty of enemies that could be treasure guards, so it it might be confusing a bit. He was so close. He was one step north of it. Just needed to walk down onto the, the tile. Down one more. Down one more. Okay, chat. Let's put down arrows and hope that Raigai does... Oh, and it, there he goes. Well, let's hope he remembers to search, but this is a different enemy, so it should stand out. Meanwhile, we do have Slew in the Sherlock, the first of our runners on stream to do so. Going right, which is the winner's play. Raigai going to get rewarded with armor and a level. Oh no. He did not search. Oh my god, he did not search. He kills the Magiwyvern, does not search the spot. Maybe, uh, I was gonna say, maybe it doesn't take it so far uh, uh, to the north, but uh, he just went south and he searched uh, above as well. He, oh no. I I have to, he searched every other time it could possibly be a treasure guard. I have to assume the level up threw him off and he just completely forgot as a result. Or maybe he doesn't think the Magic Wyvern can be a... Uh, a treasure card, but if the wyvern can be, and he, we've seen one of those, uh, then certainly the uh, magic wyvern can be. Well, that sounds like uh, maybe he's gonna rescue Gwilin after all. Yeah, at this point, um, it makes absolute sense. He would he would be lost at this point, I believe. So rather than try and recount this out, he's got an easy enough to deal with blue dragon. He's got to kill this thing eventually anyway to get some leveling going. Um, so he'll be able to figure it out here soon enough and realize the folly of his ways. Meanwhile, we're on the side. We got we got some we got some diving here. Uh, he's checking a chest, maybe thinking maybe the flute could exist, although I'm not sure. Or fighter's ring. Those are the only two items that could possibly be useful at this point that he would find. But he is uh, definitely in a mega dungeon here with five stairs on that one and finds a nice dead end. I'm not sure if he intends to uh, do this on one dive, but uh, I've seen him uh, run away from a green dragon. I can't remember if the green dragon has specific abilities, but uh, with the, the Erdrick sword, it might be a, a great enemy to fight, or even the wizard. He just ran away from a, a wizard. Yeah, the wizard at 81 defense, he is damage breaking that thing. So yeah, he's clearly devoted to making 15 work. Um, I would not be against him getting 16 on this dive. Finds the judge's table, finds Grave Floor 2, though, which comes with an amazing six sets of stairs here. And that's uh, Tablet 2, I believe. Yep. Yeah, Tablet kind of walks, realizes it. Uh, he's going to check the outer stairs first. Does have one set of stairs in the inside as well. And this and, is yeah, third. I was going to say, another split play of four. I love it. Well, we wanted a mega dungeon. We have a mega dungeon. Uh, this is great. So uh, if you're running this, you want maybe to take some notes because uh, this this can get confusing real quick. Well, he's checking everything but the middle so far here as he's uh, back to where he started. Uh, this is the path to Grave Chest 5, so he's going to walk in reverse. We'll see what happens. Raigai's going to drop off this princess that's hiding behind Healy there, while Ziggy is grinding on this blue dragon. Um, we'll see if he grabs it for the princess for these cords, or is just here for some experience. And leaves the middle chest of the, the Grave Floor behind uh, as he comes out of the left of Charlock and goes to see what's behind the throne. 
You gotta love when those two kill. Oh my god! Instant bottom of Sherlock with a mega dungeon. Pseudo uh, fast Sherlock right there. Ziggy with or Slamu with the big brain play, leaving the mega dungeon. Just like let's go check this other one. Um, and is in a decent position right now. We'll see how this uh, battle goes. 81 defense, so he can get bodied for up to 50. Um, if he does opt to use the death necklace, would be down to 97 HP max. Yep, still wondering what the spike tile is. Uh, meanwhile, Ziggy has uh, the princess in tow. Uh, hopefully going to get his armor soon. Absolutely. So we got Slamu here. Is very familiar with this blue dragon should not be an issue at all, even it, though it did dodge initially. We got Raigai back near where the armor is going to be here soon uh, with the princess turned in. Um, unfortunately, Edge just has to figure out where he hasn't seen, and we know it's down in the grave. That'll get him his stones. And now with full HP and four herbs remaining, uh, Big Slamu saying uh, no and being a fool uh, and uh, putting on the death necklace. With two opening stop spell, that's amazing. Yeah, kind of weak rolls there, but you know, a couple stop spells there really was not impactful at all. Good opening double right there, so uh, this is looking okay-ish. I mean, uh, as good as, as you can hope for with these stats. Absolutely, just has to get good heal mores is the main thing here. No wiggle room to play with. Needs to make sure his heal mores uh, don't fizzle out, but he's getting some fantastic rolls so far. Yeah, fantastic is is a, a, a good way to put it. Uh, it's been real good. The dragon lore has hasn't been too much of a hassle. Uh, wow, so uh, he just hit for 10, but uh, he's gotten way more than that on his previous rolls, even getting a 20. So uh, 13 is pretty okay as well. Yeah, he's still in good position here. Doesn't get a max roll heal more there, but gets a nice breath from the Dragon Lord and is still in a safe, safe space. Yep, I don't think he's wasted the heal more. Uh, all those uh, those attacks uh, left him above 50, uh, 50 HP, so he's in good shape. And that heal more only left him at 92 HP, but he gets a nice low physical from the Dragon Lord, which really, really was huge. And we should see a win here or on the next wing. And there it is. Get those GGs out in the chat for Big Slamu. He's going to take first in today's race, be auto-qualified for the postseason. Uh, very nicely done by him. So let's get an update. We'll see if he wants to come in and chat with us here in a moment. But an update from the other runners here. Rye Guy finally gets his armor there. Um, definitely want to check with him on that one and see if he realizes that he killed the spike there and just forgot to search. But uh, is currently grinding away. Um, above him, Ziggy is also grinding away, but is down the armor. Uh, so still has a little bit of the homework to do. And we don't have... We have Edge not on a grind, isn't too far behind on experience. Just unfortunate for Edge is not realized that he's overlooked where the stones is. Um, and in, as a result is way behind on that and hasn't gotten the armor. Yep, it's going to be, uh, I think, a race between Ziggy and Raigai, but uh, uh, Raigai with the armor uh, and basically uh, on the same XP level as uh, Ziggy. Uh, Raigai is uh, it's his uh, second place to lose. Yeah, right guy's in a good position here. And just as a note, like we noted at the beginning, so we got Slimu qualified now. Rai guy cannot finish last. If he finishes at least third, he will be semi-qualified into a play-in. Second or first will auto-qualify him for the postseason. Meanwhile, Ziggy and Edge will auto-qualify for the, the playoffs if they finish third or above. But if either of them finishes last, they will have to do the play-in. But with that, Dean, we do have today's winner, Big Slimu, joining us in the booth. GG Slimu, very nicely done. How you feeling? Thanks. That's definitely a load off. Sitting here, this is the worst possible scenario, right? It's like, don't just don't get last, and I'll be okay. I'll live in a, live another day. Um, clearly, that one went a little bit better than don't get last, so I'm pretty happy about it. Yeah, you you ordered this very well. You you made some 
calculated decisions, but you also found things in a, in a really uh, very quick manner. At one point, I believe you had the amount of experience the other three runners combined had while you were doing that Blue Dragon grind. Yeah, I, I put some practice into this week. I would love to say that I practiced every week, but <laughs> definitely didn't feel great um, on these flags. So I put put a little practice in, and honestly, I'd love, I mean, thanks to the everybody that popped in the chat to tell me how I was doing things wrong or being dumb about certain things, because uh, definitely had a bunch of notes at the top of my screen saying, don't do this, don't do that, make sure you do this, and they paid off today, so... So, I mean, out, everything was really nice to you guys um, outside maybe that little bit of a Mega Sherlock dungeon at the end. We had a key item in the top of Tantagel on the right side, two engraved um, on the top floor, and then everything else was just easily locatable at the searches and such, and then the Breck chest with the sword. So the, the game didn't make you do a lot of dungeon diving. Yeah, I mean, I, I did a little bit because I was sitting there thinking about how I messed up the coordinates. Um, but outside of that, yeah, I didn't have to do any real deep diving, which was kind of nice because that's probably the weakness that I have. Hopefully my uh, opponents next week aren't listening to this and uh, taking that into account for flags. Well, if you, if you follow a beta, he's definitely taken everything into consideration for maximum carnage, and I appreciate that thought, and I might be doing the same, but... Uh... But no, this is this will be awesome. Um, so yeah, we still got lots of action here. We got Rai Guy in a clear second place right now. Um, currently, grinding away has everything figured out. Ziggy has the princess in tow, but does still have to go pick up his uh, his princess or his armor here down way way down there. And then uh, Edge just unfortunately is not looking good for him due to the fact that he's never looked on the west side of the grave. Yeah, that's gonna be painful. I honestly. I don't remember where anything was. I remember the count, and obviously the count having the armor. I can't remember the last time I had to do a count. Like, it's, I, I mean, probably a standard seed like six months ago. So, honestly, I just kind of forgot to, uh, forgot how to count for a while there, but I put it all back together and <laughs> found that magic wyvern that was guarding the armor, luckily. Yeah, conversely, on the left, uh, Ryguy also struggled with that count. On uh, his second count down, uh, did get to the Magi Wyvern, uh, got a level up at the same time, and then forgot the search. Um, gave up on it, went and got the Princess, and then got his armor later. Yeah, I'm glad I got it without the Princess. I'm like, I don't want to have to do this twice. I know it was, I mean, it was good XP along the way, right? I mean, I started swinging above my uh, pay grade there for a little bit, which is really convenient. Um, and being able to take out things like Wolf Lords or Wraiths or even Wraith Knights. That little zone with Wraith Knight, Rogue Scorpion, Wraith, southwest of start was huge. Until the uh, Rogue Scorpion started sleeping me, but... So how was, what were you thinking as uh, you guys got a few early spells there? I think Radiant came at level 4 and then it was nothing for like 8, eight 9 levels, something like that. Yeah, I mean, I had enough strength that it wasn't a big deal, right? I mean, I got enough strength that picking up a spell wasn't going to do me much, because, I mean, best spell to come would be Heal More, because Hurt More's not coming, because I don't have Hurt yet. And honestly, I didn't really need it. I mean, I kind of liked that it didn't come, because it just forced me to grind. And I mean, I picked up some incremental stuff along the way, right? Like getting that Hand Axe and things like that helped, but the game was nice enough to give me a decent chunk of strength so that it wasn't an issue yeah i think um i think that all worked out really well in your favor plus you got to the sword decently early enough uh all three three of our runners right guy slamu and edge got to the sword in relative succession not too terribly far apart we did see ziggy with a very long gap in between i think plus 20 minutes or so from the others here i know that feeling that was me in week four week four against right guys so I was I was twenty plus behind the behind him to the sword and uh, it, it cost me so. Well, Rai Guy does not like fifteen as much as you did here, Slamu. It looks like he saw fifteen, checked the stats, immediately went back to grinding this blue dragon. So we'll see what sixteen might do and if it gives him anything worthwhile. Um, at this point, though, we do have Ziggy turning in the princess um, after checking coordinates in Cantlin. Um, is going to go find his armor here momentarily, and we got Edge clearing out all of these caves here, um, just not the right place. 
Did, does Raigai have the death necklace? Because without that, that's not a clear go. I mean, even it took me a second to think about it, and I'm like, eh. If I fail, I fail, but I'm going to give it a shot. <laughs> the easy Sherlock thing, I don't know how to math that out yet. I've basically kind of just thinking in my head that Sherlock is essentially free, but then you get to offset that with the fact that it's shuffled, so it's a tough balancing act to figure out how do I quantify that. Uh, there's like official math with it. I just assume if I ran, it's a it's a it's a good day. If I didn't, it was a bad day. Yeah, I just I just I honestly I treat Sherlock like it's free, right? So I mean, even with the shuffle, I'm like, yeah, nine heal mores, eleven attacks. I should be golden. So there we go. We got the the condensed version here. Easy Sherlock will make like your upper sixties of agility become a coin flip to run on reds versus ninety agility being the coin flip. So actually, that's not too terrible at all. Yeah, no, that's not. I mean, that, that makes sense. Then I should just treat it as free. And honestly, the Dragon Lord fight—if you get to the Dragon Lord full resources—that that's a free fight. I mean, ninety-seven is is perfect. Um, the odds that you get swung on for for forty-nine is three percent. So I'll take a ninety-seven percent chance to beat the Dragon Lord. That's for sure. So I guess the last thing I wanted to ask you is um, you, you went right, which is absolutely the right strategy, even if it didn't pay off in this time. You end up popping out the left. There were still some exploration down in those uh, shuffled stairs, but you opted to go to the to the, to the throne and check there, and it was an immediate drop to the bottom. Um, was that your thought? You know, you came out, you're like, well, I'm just going to go check this instead. Yeah, I figured it was a decently long walk back to the next kind of breaking off point. So I figured I would check this here because I never wanted to go on the left side of Sherlock again, right? Because it's just a waste of time to go left um, and go all the way around there. I'm like, well, if the game's going to put me halfway there, I'll go make this one check. And then worst case scenario, I'll turn around and finish out that. I mean, the Sherlock two floor was done. The grave two floor, I had the center left. I was almost done with that cave connection, though. I think there's only two left that I saw. Yeah, I know middle, middle, uh, Grave 2 you didn't hit as we got Ziggy getting his armor here in a moment after critting this magic wyvern. And then the only other thing I had left was uh, the vanilla path from the first base of Sherlock all the way around. That was the only thing I still had outstanding. I hadn't seen Sherlock 4 yet. There was a bunch of decent sized rooms left. Um, but, I mean, I figure any stair is just as likely as another to uh, go straight to the Dragon Lord, so... I took that one, and, and I mean, I'd say I got lucky, but to be fair, I went through about half of, at least half of the Mega Dungeon before I went and found the free path, so. Yeah, and we got Ziggy, didn't top off, His he's at 15, uh, does look like he's going to continue to grind while doing a dive here uh, with his half resources, is going to go to the right and find the unfortunate Mega Dungeon when the direct path is just above there. Um, right guy's about to hit level 16, we'll see if this is enough to make him take a look at uh, diving as well. That's interesting. I don't know. I mean, and Grand Ziggy has played way more Cave Shuffle than I have. I just don't see the benefit of not trying to win when you're in here with stats to go. Yeah, there was a little bit of talk in there. I, I think I probably would have also been grinding, to be quite honest, um, just to hedge bets on... Um, free enemies, I would say, but, um, I mean, ultimately, it is winnable with your stats, as we clearly saw, um, especially once you know the path, so, um, here we go, though. We got Ziggy, he is, he's gonna end up at level, uh, 16 at some point, even though we definitely know he's at 15, uh, there we go, and Raigai at 16, got a ton more HP, um, and another heal more, so it is very clear as well at this point, we'll see if he, either of these runners find the path down. All right, and to give an update here, Edge is re-clearing all of the stairs and mountain. I do believe he's already done this floor before, or he was here early enough. Uh, getting a gauge on his location here. Uh, Ziggy and Raigai both go right, so Raigai, uh, given Ziggy still the, the Edge, so to speak, here, um, as he's going to be following in Ziggy's footsteps. We'll see which one aborts this mission like Zamu did and finds the throne room stairs is the path to victory. I did not expect to be hanging out in <laughs> in 
chat for 12 minutes waiting for somebody to finish. This is crazy. I don't think... I don't know. This is... Yeah. I am surprised. No, I mean, very. when I said you played this very well, you very, very played this very well. So, very nicely done. Oh, no. Tilo just reminded me, did I forget to turn off my uh, mid-rolls again? I wasn't going to bring it up. I wanted oh, chat to no. do it. So, yeah, we got, we got mid-rolled a couple times. I'm so sorry. I just need to win faster. <laughs> if I had won in, won in two less minutes, I wouldn't have gotten mid-rolled. Oh man, hopefully you got some good ads at least. I think we blocked them out um, with some color bars there, so I didn't officially see what they all were. So the dives continue here. Ziggy, Rye Guy, they're bouncing between these stairs left and right, up and down. Uh, Ziggy opted out of the U floor while Rye Guy is doing the U floor, so. Who the heck knows who's going to find out what, who's going to get out of here. Ziggy's nearing level 16. Uh, he's going to find out he's getting some more HP and MP. Uh, that really isn't truly needed, but will probably make him feel a little more warm and comfy inside. Yeah, I feel like dying here is the right answer, but neither one of them is going to die, so... Yeah, I'd say if I die, I definitely check a different direction for sure. Um, so that might point them in that direction as Ziggy is now into uh, Grave 2 Nightmare. And um, it, there's no end to this. He opts right out of Grave 2, though. Going to go ahead and finish off this war. Maybe wanting to full clear the existing floors he's already been on prior to doing the next war. Which might be a, a good way of keeping it in your, in your mind. Because the stair shuffle can really mess with your head. Yeah, I don't think I have the right answer here. I do. I, I kind of every floor and every set of stairs has a name, and I just kind of branch off like a big Christmas tree. Uh, <laughs> I I don't know if that's the right answer or not, but it works for me. And I I don't I haven't gotten lost yet. So hey, you, whatever works for me. I can't remember a map on the overworld to save my life or where a location is. But for some reason. Like, Stair Shuffle, my brain becomes like Rain Man, and I, I remember it all. It makes no sense, and I have no clue why, but that's how it works for me. By the way, did anybody else find those medals? Because uh, that 255 XP, the straight jump to 10, felt real nice. At least saw a couple Metal Slimes on stream officially. I'm not sure who all got them besides yourself, if any. All right, here we go. Edge is back into Grave. He's narrowed down his options. He's going left and goes down and sees the chest of despair. I mean, he's just one right order in Sherlock away from taking second place right here. And you know what? Um, I've seen many runners start with the vanilla search at this point. Let's see what right guy's back out on the left here. What's he doing? He goes back in. Stay out, right guys. Walk to the light. Walk to the light. See, this is that. This is where I turned around because you got to go back like three floors to uh, to find your next connector path. So, uh oh, here we go. Ziggy does start walking north, so he is going to go check this throne real fast and be rewarded. But meanwhile, like you mentioned, Edge is ready to go at this point if he wants to make fifteen work. And um, if he goes to that throne room, he's he's there immediately. But uh, let's see what he opts to try. All right, Ziggy's got the path down. Knows it's extremely simple. Needs to needs to top off his MP real fast though. So he outsides. He should have that MP here in a moment. Where if Rye Guy manages to get out there and go, he will have all the stats necessary to be able to take this on. Meanwhile, on the right side, we got Edge throwing down that rainbow drop, making sure not to click the death necklace at least right now. Um, if he goes to the back of the throne room, he will actually have a lead over these other two. He's going left. Does he not have herbs though? This oh. could be. This could make a difference. He decides to go to the key door. Don't do it, Edge. Don't do it.
Yeah, so this is definitely uh, the same play that Ziggy did for Edge. Um, he is just coming in here trying to figure out where the path is, didn't bother topping off or anything. Once he gets the path, he's going to outside and do it all. So right now, Ziggy in a clear command for second place. Um, right guy's still just in stair shuffle heck at this point, and uh, no end in sight. He needs to get back up top. Yeah, right guy's in same similar pass I've seen him already in before. Now he's doing that long path. Um, and he should be getting answers soon. He's got to be running into a dead end at some point at this moment, I would think. Well, thanks for raiding us, Lamu. I appreciate that. As Ziggy reaches to the spike tile here, Blue Dragon knows all about the Blue Dragon, gets through it with ease in a very commanding position here and is about to uh, take on his Dragon Lord. Let's see uh, how this one goes for him. All right, Ryguy topped off here, heading back in. Ziggy onto the Dragon Lord here at level 16. Um, is trying to play the herb game a little bit. Uh, we'll see if he can get a little bit of that Slamu luck here where we had a couple stop spells in the, the middle. Not not acquiescing yet, at least. All right, right guy going left and uh, should be going around to the back of the throne room here momentarily as Ziggy does get into the Dragon Lord 2 battle. Starts out with a very nice 20. So yeah, we'll see how this one goes. With the bonus that HP though, doesn't have to be as scared as uh, as Slow Moon may have been with uh, some of those lower heal more rolls. I know that one only got you back to 92 and that was a little rough, but um, is uh, looking really good here. Right, I is gonna see the instant path downstairs and just be like, I can't believe that I just did all that diving. All right, three heal mores left in the tank here for Ziggy. Still in very good position. Um, another 20 is is fantastic here. Just got to make sure he doesn't miss menu here. Get those good heal mores. A nice low physical here from the Dragon Lord. We should be seeing, a, a, with that 18 especially, a couple more swings here max, and we should be seeing a W for there as Ryguy is making the final turn down towards the spike tile that we know is the Blue Dragon. There it is. Get those GGs out in chat for Ziggy. Going to take second here. Also secure his place into the postseason. So I think at this point, the, the main difference between Ziggy and Ryguy, um, Ziggy was a little long to get to the sword, but was still grinding away, where Ryguy just lost so much time on the armor. Uh, three trips, including picking up the princess and going back on the third, um, might have sealed the difference here for him. But does get through the spike, uh, is getting trolled by another blue dragon here. Uh, let's see how his fight goes to, well, if he can ever get to the fight, he's getting trolled. There we go, into the fight. And uh, Ziggy finished with an official time of 122.09. So it looks like Edge is going to go ahead and get 16 as he continues his dive. Um, <laughs> Ziggy throws up a I'll take second smiley face. I like that. Um, <laughs> and join us in the booth is going to be our second place finisher, Ziggy. GG, sir. How you feeling? Uh, oops, sorry. My mic was a little bit far. Uh, I feel like I know exactly what happened to Slamu, and I'm super jealous. 
Um, whatever you're thinking, I guarantee you're wrong. Um, he didn't walk on the armor. No, well, I mean, he got it on account, but uh, he was able he was able to count it out eventually. He didn't need the princess, but he didn't just happen to walk into the armor now. Oh, that's what I thought happened. I thought he just got the armor and then powered through the seat. I ended up spending almost like 30 minutes doing nothing good, trying to find uh, a direction to get out of this seat. I ended up grinding the gold chest in Tantagel for like uh, five minutes and then going to buy stuff in Cantlin to get out of the problem. <laughs> Wish I did yep. that earlier, but no, yeah, like, I'd problem. like to know what happened to him. The problem is I'm just 20 minutes better than you on the average seed. That's that's all this is. Yeah, that's what I'm guessing. Just GG's a small though, lead of 20 minutes. I, you guys I love it. I can't wait to see that one back. I love. I'm going to love to see what you did to get out of there quickly. I guess I could have uh, bite, bit the bullet and gotten the money earlier. Sadly, I never found a spot where I could do a gold grind. That was my other thing. Like I was trying to find a place where I could get like three chests, but I never found one. Well, here we go. We got Edge. Um, he comes back in, topped off, finds the basement as well. Meanwhile, right guy with one swing extra left is going to finish in third place. Get some GGs out and chat for Rai Guy 3745. We're going to take third overall on today's race. GG. So Ziggy, I'll, I'll leave some of it for you in the uh, post uh, whenever you decide to watch this back. But I think one of the big differences, uh, you were you were heavy grinding early and experience lead at points. Everyone else pushed out and honestly pushed the right direction. You were the last one of our runners to find sword, and it was probably at least a 20-minute gap from third to fourth for you. Uh, so they all had that extra offensive firepower for quite a while. Well, then I'm absolutely delighted to be second. Uh, really, really happy, because being able to kill stuff was absolutely the problem with this seed. Getting to a point where you could kill a wizard and you could kill a werewolf was really... Um, what was locking you and <laughs> being the last by 20 minutes to get a sword and still finishing second i'll absolutely take it i'm i'm, I'm ecstatic meanwhile we did see uh edge solved the finish by rye guy throws in the towel knowing that he's in last so um at this point what we have is rye guy will have uh 15 points edge will have 15 points both of them two will be in the play-in race uh, while Ziggy at 17 and Slamu at 18 will automatically be in the postseason. So that's where we stand after this. We'll see if either of those runners want to come join us in the booth. Uh, we got one of them here. Who did we get? We got uh, da, 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 someone's Dean. Why is my Oh, there we go. Edge. GG Edge. How do you feel about this one? I lost the stones and that's what cost me big. No, I mean, you nailed it, clearly. Um, and unfortunately, as you were, like, re-exploring or exploring through all the caves, it was the last place you went back to, hit that radiant. I, I could feel most likely what you were feeling as you went left and saw that cave or that chest and then the werewolf encounter. There's a lot of things that I said that couldn't be said here. So, yeah, it was it was pretty, it was bad. And the worst is, is I thought I had checked that spot when I first went through because I, I know I checked... Uh, the two other spots, and then I just missed that one, I guess. Yeah, I think chat was theorizing when you went left, you were just that one tile above, so you would it would just hit it one tile off screen when you were in there early on. Um, and yeah, that, I mean, honestly, that that completely cost you because you were coming around in, in a clear chance at winning uh, Slamu won at 15 as well, um, and you were even going to get 16 on the spike. So you were in a good position and right behind Raigai. Um, so it, honestly, that was by far the biggest uh, deficit for you in this race. Well, GG's to everybody else. I mean, you guys did amazing. Um, you guys found everything. <laughs> it, 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 I, like I said, this one just felt really, really rough. It was kind of a tough start, but once you were strong enough to beat, like, higher mid-game enemies, the seed was kind of easy. That was really, like, the big block, getting the strength at the beginning, getting out of you know, the big block. And I do want to welcome in our third place finisher, Rai Guy. Um, GG's Rai Guy, how you feeling about this one? <laughs> yep. <laughs> I, think um, I, uh, I think I scrolled up in the chat and saw my problem. I was, uh, I wasted a lot of time trying to treasure guard out the armor and apparently I 
killed the, I must have killed the, killed the treasure guard earlier and uh, must have been before I realized it was down there and was searching things. So I didn't want to search every potential uh, treasure guard, but uh, like cross the whole map. But uh, I must have killed it before I even realized it was in that area. So yeah, you killed it. Um, it was after you already killed a couple treasure guards and you searched below them. Um, you run into it, you kill it, but you also leveled up at the exact same time. And I was kind of curious if maybe that might have thrown you off of the, the sin of searching afterward. Oh, is that what happened? I thought I killed it earlier. I just, oh, okay, well, then that's even worse. Yeah, it, you, you went down there, you killed the Magic Wyvern, got the level, um, and then just started walking. And I was like, oh, no. Was that the one we had a lot of HP? I might have gotten distracted by Hawksness, but either way, I, uh, yeah, whoops. Yeah, it was shortly after that you did go to Hawksness, so that may very well be the case there. So outside of that, um, what else did you feel about the seed, either you or Edge? Uh, I will say I didn't have the race room, like, active, and it might have been helpful to see that Slamu won in, like, you know, an hour to uh, figure out that Charlock, because... That seemed kind of mean going through Sharlock 2 and Grave 2 and searching all those stairs, just being like, oh, it was a direct. Like, great. I, I did, uh, the, so you did the same I I, trip. I think, I think we all, I mean, we must almost done the same trip where we did like all of the stairs in right side, then came out the left side and then went to the top and we're like, oh, oh no. Yeah, yeah. I spent almost as much time as you guys did in there. I mean, I got to watch all you guys because I was so massively far ahead of you that, uh, I got to watch you guys basically do the exact same thing as me. Well, I just, uh, I was just thinking we could use the meta to be like, well, you couldn't have gone through all these stairs and finished so quickly, right? So one of these probably goes pretty directly, and I didn't see that though, so. Yeah, I went down the left side and then ended up like as, as deep as it started getting. I was like, all right, I'm going to death warp out, refill, and then I'm just going to take the center because I'm starting to run low on keys. And as soon as I hit that center, I went, yay. I mean, if you have the strength to beat a wyvern and uh, you got at least some decent armor like chainmail and large shield, you could probably start moving around and cleaning the seed at like level seven, level eight. So, I'm, I'm now I'm I'm seeing about like how Slam did it, but that was impressive. Twenty minutes lead. Like last week, I, I got beat by Edge for ten minutes. I went like, I hope it's not gonna happen this week as well. Uh, well, it didn't. Well, well yeah, I you mean, didn't lose by ten minutes. <laughs> Yep, twice, actually. What did you say, move well played? I mean... I mean, on the, on the plus side, none of us got eliminated today, and that's the happiest thing for everyone, so... Did did anyone get really tempted to death necklace grind the magic armor? Because I was really tempted to, but... God, it seemed like it would have taken forever, I just was curious. No, large, large shield and uh, chain mail for me, that's about as far as I'm, as I'm willing to do a death necklace grind on. Yeah, nah, I, I did, when, I, uh, when I got to coal, I was almost pretty much done with the seed. So, nah. I did the same thing. I was just at that point, I was like, you know what? Chainmail, hand axe, uh, small shield. And then I ended up finally getting a large shield later. But um, I got the armor like kind of nice like. And it was just, like I said, the seed seemed to flow just minus the stones. And again, chest I thought I checked and I ended up missing it. When I got it, I was like, yep, this, this is not good. Well, for Edge and Ryguy, uh, still alive, have the play-in race coming up uh, to BD on when that'll be done. Uh, any thoughts on that one as we uh, move towards the playoffs for you guys? I, I don't remember what the flags are. I assume they're some sort of super quick tiebreaker flags where any and everything can happen. I assume that as well, and I'll be honest, I never bothered to look. I mean, I just assumed I was going to crush Slamu, so I didn't even bother looking at the flags, obviously. <laughs> obviously. You know what happens when you assume, right, guy? Sorry, buddy. You, you, you don't search after you kill a Magic Wyvern? Hey, at least he killed it. I died to Magic Wyverns. I also, I also died to that werewolf three times trying to get that. Uh, I think it was the stones or the token. I just could not make that one happen. I'm like, I'm a major favorite, and I cannot make this happen. Uh, I think that was me and the wizard, but at least the wizard was close to home, so I could give it a couple tries and not really care. 
So for all of our runners, uh, any final thoughts on uh, through week five on today's race or anything upcoming before we uh, see about um, what's coming up next for us? GG's to everybody. Uh, all I can say, I mean, it was a great race. Everybody did really well. And I knew I knew this would be a tough one because everybody's just such good runners. So I'm um, just happy to be where I'm at right now. Yep. Also, like usual, thanks to all of the organizers, the commentators, and um, the the trackers. Yeah, don't say thanks to the trackers enough. It's a tough job. Thanks, everybody. That was, again, uh, pretty easy to play. Just a small delay. I mean, that's that's how life is. That's all uh, being, well, live is, I guess. Yeah, thank you, everyone, and uh, appreciate the show as always. I like all that. Thanks, everybody. Um, absolute another blast of a group. I don't think you've had a bad, uh, bad group. I don't think there is a bad group that exists. So it's. I mean, I, I say it every single time. This is, this is the best gaming community I've ever found on the internet, and it's possibly the best community that exists on the internet. So it's always fun to be around you guys, and it's fun to spend time on a Sunday, um, absolutely demolishing the rest of my competition. So good luck to you guys, especially Rye Guy and Edge, as you guys head into the the play-in race. By the way, um, what is going to be the playing race? Uh, I don't exactly know what flags are going to play. So, yeah, the tie, it's tiebreaker flags, which is very fast XP, speed hacks, random XP rewards, random prices, open and short Sherlock, no keys, uh, curse princess, and three company finishes. So it should be like a super zoomy, most likely curse princess finish, unless somehow the stars align and and you never see the belt, but you get everything else and a ton of experience and levels right away. My favorite. It's like the ultimate randomizer. I just push random buttons and see if I win because <laughs> there's so many things to do. <laughs> well, we did have a 5 p.m. race. It got delayed due to some um, some power related issues. So we'll we'll find out further on that one. That that race will be a win and in and second or below and you're out race. So we do have one person that'll be guaranteed into the postseason from that, but will not hold up anything related to tiebreaker races as well. We do also eventually have a podcast for the group one um, people as well, which I do believe everybody has ran, I hope, at least based on what I saw in the room, but we'll see if uh, we get a podcast together for that. But uh, we're going to send it over to the old vampire lady here in a few. Uh, she's doing some uh, she's doing some, some uh, big 20 uh, action and has been uh, one of our newer Dragon Warrior Randomizer uh, community members and has been very active on some of that. Any final thoughts from anybody else or Juf before we roll it over? I'll take silence as bliss. I just wanted to say thank you very much to our restreamer Kamion Rinnekai for our trackers today. Beta Strep and Schmike then and my co-commentator Juf. I was DK946. Everybody have a great afternoon. <laughs>